We are united by UN Charter principles and the shared conviction that Crimea is Ukraine and it will return under Ukraine's control. And every time you hear anyone from any corner of the world saying that Crimea is somehow special and should not be returned to Ukraine as any other part of our territory, you have to know one thing. Ukraine categorically disagrees with these statements. There is no difference between Simferopol, Donetsk, Lugansk, Kherson, or any other Ukrainian city. They all will, must, and will be Ukraine again, like Kherson already did. First, to remind that Russia's war on Ukraine started not last year, but nine years ago. And second, to make the point that you can wish for peace, but you cannot pretend it's peace, especially when someone attacks you. We all want peace, but a just and lasting peace like the one envisioned by President Zelensky's peace formula, it's not only in Ukraine's, but in all of Europe's and the world's interests to have to see this formula implemented. If the history of the past century and the past decades is to teach us anything, it is that the world needs real peace, not appeasement. Real peace means restoring the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine. Real peace means a safe homeland for the Tatar people in the Ukrainian Crimea. Real peace means great ships in the Black Sea, not warships. A world under the rule of international law, rather than force, is what real peace means. That is what we are fighting for. This is what this conference is for. Not only to win the war, but to win a real lasting peace. If Russia keeps Crimea, once it has rebuilt its strength, it will use it as a launch pad to invade Ukraine once again and take full control of the Black Sea. We will not allow this to happen. This is why we will liberate every inch of our territory and every last one of our fellow citizens. And that is why we are today calling for a demilitarization of the Black Sea so that peaceful, law-abiding countries can once again use the shared sea to trade, travel, and live freely without fear of Russian warships. Let us persist on the way to this common goal.